It's been really eye-opening speaking with the people that live in this area of the city. They tell me that they estimate the tornado came through in just about one minute. And can you believe how much destruction can happen in just 60 seconds? I mean, there are trees in people's lawns, but that's not even the worst of it. Busted out windows, parts of people's roofs just disappeared. Siding on people's homes are gone. There is glass shattered in the middle of the street because of windows that have broken and not only windows of homes, but windows of some people's cars. So it's crazy to think just how much destruction can happen in such a short period of time. And I spoke with a man who had part of someone else's roof laying in his front yard. He just finished repairing his home after it was damaged in Hurricane Ian and says this tornado was far worse than anything he's experienced. So I started hitting the house and flying sideways. So I ran in the bathroom, uh, was trying to corral the dogs with me as they were all over the house. And I mean, everything all of a sudden, all the trees in the backyard just went boom, over and glass shattering, stuff banging against the house. I, mean, I thought the house would come down on me. Is this your roof? Is this a part of someone else's roof? Uh, uh, I think it's part of somebody else's roof. Um, that I've got some of their roof in my garage in there that came through the window. So heartbreaking to hear him describe those initial moments. I also want to show you what may have been going on outside while he was likely hiding in the bathroom. Here's video we got from a viewer. You can see the tornado forming on Sunday over the Lynn Haven River and making its way to the Great Neck area. And now this morning we're left with the aftermath and this aftermath, as you can see behind me, I think it goes without saying incredibly destructive, heartbreaking for so many, but we are making progress. Crews have been out here for hours now. I mean, take a look. They can barely get through the street because there's so many tree service crews out here. We've also seen neighbors come by and hand out water bottles and offer their support, offer a room in their home to their neighbors. And that's been really touching to see. So cleanup efforts are certainly underway and News 3 will continue to keep you posted as we learn more. But for now, we're live in Virginia Beach, right in the Broadway section of the area. I'm Penny Kvick, News 3.